Hello, hello, my creative stampers. We're here early this Monday night. Like I said in the email, I had a conflict. We have a huge conference and we're doing a choir rehearsal tonight. And I'm like, ah, I can't do both. So I'm glad you all could make it this early Monday evening. And I've got a really cool technique to show you all. You may have seen it before, but um, it's always fun to see it again. Wow, I've got all these people. Yes, Sandra, you are at the right place. I am here. And Janice, hello. It's your first time. Welcome. You're going to have fun. Okay. Mallory's here. Marie's here. Great. Awesome. Okay. Uh, before we get started, though, with tonight's, I do have some mail that I got, and I love sharing these with you all. This is from Peggy Berg, and notice no uh, naked envelopes there. Love that. That's what um, the head of Stampin' Oh, a quilt! Oh, girl, this is gorgeous. Oh, I love it. And you all, she um, embossed it after she put all the pieces together. And she's just wishing a happy Valentine's. Beautiful card. Thank you so much, Peggy. All right. My next one is from Patricia Mann. Thank you so much. And da, 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 da. oh, we got some more quilting. I love it. But this is an embossed quilt. Oh, so pretty. Yes, I'll be your Valentine. <laughs> so sweet. I love that. Thank you. Okay. And we have one from Mary Ann. Whoops. Let's see what we have here. Oh, this is a thank you card. So Mary Ann, um, yes, I sent her a bunch of embellishments and she said she enjoys watching the channel Crafty Hugs. So thank you to you too for watching and thank you for the card. Love it. All right. And last but not least, Jeanette, my wonderful Jeanette. She even got a, a did y'all see the Valentine stamps the post office had this year? I was like, oh, that's a lovely card, Jeanette. No, she's protecting it. Oh, yay. Oh, look how she embellished it. So this was our paper pumpkin, and she embellished it with the beautiful, um, was this, dainty flowers. So pretty. Love that. Great. Oh, thanks so much. I love y'all's cards. Thank you so much. And I love sharing them with everybody. So there we go. Okay, tonight's project have you ever stamped on ribbon? Okay, so uh, this was an idea that Stampin' Up! gave us to share with you. And it is, uh, I titled, I forgot what I titled this uh, video, something about creative, a uh, ribbons, uh, using your ribbon in creative ways. That's what they call it. So um, if you're tired of your old, you know, basic solid ribbons, we can make them unique by adding stamps to them. So that's what we're going to do. But more than that, I'm going to make a little box and tie the ribbon around them. All right. So I have some paper here to make my box and I'm going to do that first. So let me get the measurements out for you. I do not do tutorials for my Monday night, but I do have the measurements at the bottom of the screen. So if you want to write them down, there's not really much. The first one is the box bottom, and this is measured at seven inches and then scored. Whoops, I forgot my scoring tool. Hold on. There we go. And it is scored at one and a quarter on all sides. So we just stick it in here. One and a quarter. Whoop, be careful. Don't use your cutting blade. Just get that thing out of the way. And I need to watch my comments. Make sure if you have a question, put a big Q or a question mark. And so one and a quarter. Rotate it. One and a quarter. If you've never made a box before, they are so easy, um, especially these nice uh, square boxes. As everything, all the measurements are the same on all sides when you do a square. Okay, so that we did that bottom of the box. Let me get this out of the way. And what we're going to do is we're going to create, so first I want to fold um, all the sides up so I can see where my score lines are because I'm going to be cutting the little corners off. Well, not off, but uh, making little slits so I can tuck the corners behind the other side. Um, I'll explain it better when I do it. Hold on, let me finish this. Okay, so far so good. Here we go. And what I said is you're not cutting the corner off. You're just cutting a snip right up to where the two uh, score marks meet. And that's it. Nothing else. And do it to the other side. Okay. Go. And then flip it around and do the exact same thing to the opposite side. And one more thing I do, it kind of helps, is to 
um, on the flat part that you're going to be, so you're going to be tucking it in like that. Sometimes it helps. See how they kind of stick up like that? It helps if you make a little uh, wedge, just cut a little wedge there so that it has some room to give. All right. Well, I'm having difficulty here. There we go. There we go. And then this side, whew, sometimes it might be easier to cut the wedge before you cut the straight slit. But anyways, no biggie. It's just this side I'm having trouble with. And you don't need a big wedge, just a, about an eighth of an inch is probably enough. Okay. Now we've got that. Let me get all that out of the way. Okay. We need to put our box together. So what we're going to do is put a little glue here and put a little glue here and attach it like that. So easy. So easy. And I use glue because it's super strong. It's not going to break apart. Okay. All right, so we're just going to put that there and there. Okay, and then this side, there and there. Like I said, square boxes are so easy to make because all the measurements are the same. All right, so that's the bottom of our box, and it's cardstock, so it's nice and sturdy. I'm going to let that stay there and dry a little better while I make the top. <laughs> Oh, who has like multiple packs of this gingham paper? Holy cow. It is so fun. I especially love the plaid, but we're going to use, so that has the plaid on the other side. So we're going to use the gingham and this is a six inch. And so this box is perfect because our gingham paper comes in six inch. All right. And this one, we're going to score at three quarters. So let me throw that measurement up for you. All right, and back to my comments. Make sure I don't have any questions. The title talks of using ribbon. It does, Sandra, and I'm going to be tying a ribbon around this box, but I need the box so I can tie the ribbon. <laughs> so don't worry, I'm, I'll get it. And whoops, come in here. There we go. And now be careful when you're scoring paper, though. Uh, designer paper. It is not as thick as cardstock, so you could tear, it could cut the paper, the little round soft blade. If you press too hard, it could cut the, through the paper, so be careful of that. Okay, so don't press too hard, but press hard enough to make the score line. Okay, I'm not sure if I've done this side or not, but I'll have to do it again. Okay, yay. Close that. And go ahead and burnish all the sides like it did on the other one. Oops. So are you all, uh, some of you have Valentine plans for tomorrow? Um, if you couldn't guess, this is going to be a Valentine's box. <laughs> um for my sweetie. He can't know about it. I'm going to put his present in it, his little gift in it. Um, we actually, we're doing something different this year. I'm going to cut my wedges first and then my slits. Oh yeah, that is much easier. Okay. Um, anyways, what I was saying was, and because neither of us can really eat at restaurants, we have pretty restrictive diets. Um, he's no salt and I'm no gluten or dairy or uh, different oils, all kinds of stuff. I have thyroid issues. So we decided instead of doing the traditional dinner and a movie, we are going to buy ourselves a brand new television. <laughs> so um, they have them um, so inexpensive now. The one we have, we bought for Valentine's back in 2000, I think it was eight, seven or eight. So that's how old our TV is. And it's a good TV. It still works. It's just, you know, it doesn't have all the fancy stuff, doesn't have all the, the smart stuff. So we're going to buy ourselves a new and a bigger one. Uh, and then we'll put the one we have in the living room in our bedroom. Uh, so what are you guys planning on doing for Valentine's? Finish doing this. And that, 
The other reason I like using glue is because it kind of slips around a little bit and you can kind of wiggle it to make sure it's right on the edge there. Okay, any, let's see what comments we've got. We got hello from Texas, Australia. Oh, oh, okay. Thank you, Sandra. <laughs> Chris says, what was the top score at? One and a quarter, Chris, one and a quarter. Uh, uh, Rosie says, yes, going in the morning to to at least two injections in your back. Rosie, that does not sound like a fun Valentine's. <laughs> and Diane's having eye surgery. You guys, I don't think you quite get what Valentine's is. <laughs> oh, she has a kit to get, Tony has a kit together. Oh, that's gonna be fun, Tony. Awesome. Uh, Nancy says the husbands are golfing. So the girlfriends are treating ourselves to a great lunch. That sounds good. All right. And taking her dog to the vet. Wow. Okay. I see traditional Valentine's is not in our, uh, future this year. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. All right. So now we have our box and then this just slips. Well, I say it just slips. Come on. It should just slip. Come on. There it goes. Just barely. Kind of have to squish it a little bit. Come in. Oh, don't be so ornery. Whew, that is just fitting on there. Wow. Okay. So it just fits. Okay. So your measurements need to be really accurate. Um, matter of fact, it's a little squished in there. So um, yeah, I might have to be more careful on my measurements next time. We've got our box. Now for the ribbon part, all right? Now for the ribbon part. I have two pieces of ribbon here. I have this nice thick linen ribbon. I love this ribbon. And then I have this thin, uh, this is like soft suede in petal pink. And I just have a little bit of that. And I have the stamp set country bouquet. All right. So I have that and I have my stamps already. Now, one thing I did with my country bouquet, if you can tell, I cut my two hearts apart um, because I just wanted the little heart and I didn't want to risk getting this on the ribbon. And so I can put them back together if I want them together for the punch. But right now I just wanted the little one. And then I have, I love you. And that's it. Okay. And I need my ink. So we're going to start with the big ribbon. And I've got to go all the way across. So I'm going to start on this side so my hand doesn't get in the ink as I go across. And all we're going to do is take our ink pad. This is so fun. Watch this. Here we go. And boom. Heart. Isn't that awesome? I love this. Okay, make sure you get it good. Okay. And... Squish it good into the ribbon. Now, of course, you can't get this ribbon wet. If you get this ribbon wet, <laughs> this ink is going to bleed. It is water-soluble ink. Um, if you want it permanent, you'll need to use a stays-on, an alcohol-based ink, or your alcohol markers. Don't, don't paint your stamp with alcohol markers. You'll ruin your stamp, but you can like just write on it with an alcohol marker if you want it to be permanent. Um, but this is perfect for just a little gift. <laughs> of course, I had to have a long ribbon because it was a fairly big box. There we go. Go. Almost done. Now, if you want hearts on the other side, uh, you can do that. My other side is blank. It doesn't bleed through. That's the thing. Alcohol markers will bleed through. Alcohol ink will bleed through. But usually the water base does not, okay? And it does look like I got a little smeared, but that's because I got it on the edge of the blocks there. But no biggie. No biggie. Okay, get that all off of there. That's a lot of red ink. Now for our next piece this little suede piece. Okay. We are going to take the words. I love you. No, not for you. I love you. There it is. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. And we're just going to stamp across this one with the, I love you. 
Isn't that fun? Oh, that showed up great. Ooh, nice. It's a good ribbon to stamp on. And of course, if you had a little heart, you could put like a little heart in between each one. I'm not getting too fancy tonight. There we go. Oh, perfect. Look at that. <laughs> it landed it perfectly. Okay, so we are done. So this is just stamping on ribbon. It is so fun. And uh, we're going to put our box together now. So I just need my ribbon here. Take my box. I need to put my gift in it, but I'll do that later. Uh, and first, I'm just going to tie this bow. Now, if you want your hearts to show on the loops, there is a trick to that. Okay, so let me, teaching you ribbon, you're going to have them um, both lying uh, down so that the hearts are not showing. Get some clamping tweezers if you need some help tying your bow. Okay, and just use that. And now, see how your loop has the hearts on it? Okay, and then this one. Uh, you'll want to twist it though. Uh, your the the non-stamped side will be on top because when you tuck it through, the heart side will come through. All right, did you get that? You will wrap it so that the non-stamped side will be on top, and then when you tuck it through. Now, the other way to do it would be to take the two bunny loops and tie, but that's a little difficult on a gift. Okay, and I'm just going to tighten that up and take that out. Okay, and then I'm you need to hold the loops while you pull the tail to make your loops smaller. Um, if you just pull the tail, the bow will come undone. So there we go. Now I might want them a little bigger than that. Hold on. There we go. I like it. All right. So that is that part. Now, what am I going to do with this? Well, this goes with this and this. All right. So I just made a tag on here. All I did was take this stamp here and the for you stamp. I got the layering scallop circles, the layering circles, the scallop and the straight edge. This hole punch is a one eight inch hole punch. So um, if you don't have that, uh, you can get it at any craft store but the regular hole punch is just so big. And then I've got some twine. So let's take our twine, cut off a piece. And what we're going to do, so we tuck that under the bow like this, come here, okay. and then put, put this ribbon where you want it, okay? And then take this and tie it tight to hold that pink ribbon, and then we'll tie the tag on, okay? So like that. You may even want to do a knot. Um, yeah. Okay, let me tie it tight again, hold it, and do the knot. Ah, uh, nope, I did it too fast. Oh, well, um, it'll stay pretty much. Yeah, it wiggles around a little bit, but that's okay. All right, and now to put this on. Oh, shoot. I need some tweezers. My fingernails don't work on this little tiny hole. There we go. Okay, and now just tie this in a bow. Bows everywhere. I hope you like tonight's project. If you stamp some ribbon and make a project, would you please take a picture and put it on our Christina's Creative Stampers page or this page, either one, my Facebook pages. I have two. My Creating with Christina, which is the one you're watching this Facebook Live on, if you're watching it on Facebook, uh, is one of my things. The other one is called Christina's Creative Stampers. That's my private group for my customers and anyone else who wants to just uh, share projects and stuff. We keep it stamping up, but uh, it's a lot of fun in there. But if you do a project like this, we would love to see it, okay? Um, if you're on YouTube, you have to go over to Facebook to do that. So thanks again for watching us to, or watching me tonight. I will be back on Wednesday for Card Challenge Wednesday. And if you've not signed up for the newsletter, you want to do that also because I'm always sending out, like tonight, I sent out a message or this morning uh, telling you all that my uh, show was earlier tonight. So if you're not, if you didn't get that message, email, uh, and you know you've signed up for my email, message me. Maybe your email is being blocked or it's going to spam or something. But if you haven't signed up for the email, it is so easy. You just go to create uh, a 
Yeah, creatingwithchristina.com, creatingwithchristina.com. That's my website or my uh, blog site, and it's got a sign-up box for my newsletter. You guys have a blessed night, and I will see y'all Wednesday. And, oh, I forgot to check questions. Woo, 42 comments. Lord, have mercy. Ah, happy, happy, happy Valentine's. Love it, love it, love it. Woo, love it, love it. Ribbons are so pretty, aren't they, though? Love it, love it. Hi, Gail in Australia. Jenny says it's 17 degrees Celsius. Good grief. We got up to 60 something today here in Texas. All right. Yeah, I don't see any question marks. Okay. Love you guys. Bye-bye.